Me correct, correct people, how una day. Welcome back to Tessis TV. We don't carry another better approach. Can't give una about to wait in the stop for palace. As the story where the wishes right now be say that there is jubilation in the house of Odujuwa, Kabiesi is happy. Kabiesi is celebrating because Kabiesi knows that after this Oloja festival, that the gods will begin to repair all that uh, he had lost. They will start to bring it back to him. So now we heard that Mamita Denekawo had a dream last night. And we know that Mamita Denekawo's dream is something that always comes to pass. Yes, when he uh, she had a dream about Dr. Lisi uh, having a miscarriage that she was in a pool of blood in the palace. She was crying, she was screaming, and she was calling for help that the Oloris were sitting down looking at her. They couldn't come and help her. It was the same Queen Naomi that ran out in that her dream and helped Dr. Lisi to hospital. And later, what happened? We heard a very terrible news that uh, Olori Elizabeth lost her baby. She had a miscarriage. And since then, Elizabeth has not been back to her face. Elizabeth is in pain. Elizabeth has been suffering. She's heartbroken. She's devastated. Even people who saw her in the palace during this Olojo festival could t um, attest to it. They have been, you know, lamenting that Elizabeth is not happy. But we all know what caused Elizabeth being unhappy. It is because she had a terrible uh, miscarriage. But Mami Tedenikawo, after the dream she had yesterday night, she had to give a call to Parapo. Yes, not direct to Kabiesi because we heard that Kabiesi and Queen Naomi, up till now, they are still having their lifts. Yes, their lift is still ongoing. They don't want to settle, though. When Naomi is the one that doesn't want to come back to the palace because Kabiesi don't already overdo too much. Kabiesi they do too much. That is the truth. So when Naomi did not call her husband on phone, rather she called Parapu to give Parapu the good news, the dream that she had about Dr. Elizabeth. So we heard that uh, when Naomi narrated her dream to Parapo, and after that, Parapo was so happy. Because the two people work Parapo love for that inside palace. Now, when Naomi and Dr. Lisio, these two people, Parapo love them so dearly that he cannot, um, you know, sell them off for other glories in the palace. So after Mommy said, then a will come to Parapo the dream where he gets and a better dream, Parapo was happy that Parapo immediately wear his clothes, his slippers, straight down to the palace, straight down to Kabiesi's chamber. Immediately he uh, came inside, he told Kabiesi to jubilate that the God has already started answering your prayer. And Kabiesi was all ears to know this news when his father don't carry enter because earlier Parapo was angry at Kabiesi and the next minute Parapo is happy. My correct people, oh, now so Parapo sit down for inside Kabiesi chamber, come open mouth, come to tell Kabiesi, waiting Queen Naomi tell him. Say Queen Naomi had a dream, a very sweet dream. We are Elizabeth conceived and gave birth to twins baby boys. Now so, Kabiesi, as we heard, jumped up from his chair and shouted for joy. Yes, because this is the kind of Kab uh, news Kabiesi been the one to hear. That Elizabeth is going to have another child. Because Elizabeth has suffered a series of heartbreak. Though the Oloris has not done what they have done to Naomi to her, yes, but they are also attacking her. Like we heard, Naronke will cause the last miscarriage because as they drag Lizzie and Ronke reach uh, Odua's sacred shrine, Lizzie was ready to take an oath, but Ronke started running. Yes, Ronke said, Lila, she no go fit take any oath. Say now Lizzie will go take out. Now Lizzie where they drag her say she be the one way by her baby. 
and the other if a priest and come and tell her say, you suppose take or say your hand take clean, you no do anything. She say lie. She no go take or before you know it, we hear say she pick her slippers and run. So you see that a uh, get hand, you no know, clean like that. That is why Elizabeth said she cannot come out for this Olojo festival, knowing that the people where they plan evil for her are also dear, sitting very close to Kabiesi. So if she come out now and sit down with them, they will start uh, looking at her to know whether she don't conceive again. She says she no fit. She no fit. May them just go this Olojo festival in peace. May she day back in the palace and arrange things. Kabiesi pleaded with her. She said, Lila, she no go go. And Kabiesi left her because Kabiesi no say she is not herself now. So right now, another better news. Don't enter palace. True Queen Naomi. That is why I tell when I say, when I see these things where the gods talk about Mommy Tedeneka will be the chosen one. She is truly the chosen one. Because if, if she's not, I don't think the gods will choose her to reveal this uh, prophecy because this dream where Queen Naomi had now, it is not just an ordinary dream. She had the revelation. It is the gods that send that to the revelation for her because she is the chosen one. And that is why they decided to pass through Queen Naomi the message. And the message, you don't enter palace. You don't reach Kabiesi here. And Kabiesi being the jubilee, saying no, say that after this Olojo festival, that the gods are going to answer his prayers. That this is one of the things that he asked the gods, that they should please make Dr. Lizzie happy again. And right now, dreams has already started coming about Dr. Lindsay having a twin boys. Though in real life, we heard that Dr. Lindsay is not uh, yet pregnant, but everybody is now expecting that something good will soon come out of it. Yes, that this prophecy is going to make KBAC, you know, to enter inside room with Dr. Lucy, Lizzie and do the undurable because he has shown that he is capable with Queen Naomi. He has shown that he is capable with Attention Seeker. He has shown that he is, cap he is capable with Ashley. Though we have not known the real truth concerning Attention Seeker and Ashley's son. Yes, we must have it that... Um, there might not be Kabiesi's son. That is why they are running away from a traditional paternity test. But we should not believe totally in that. Let's just look to see the actions Kabiesi will take against them one by one. So my correct people, Nadi Tori, will be there here, say, Kabiesi and Parapo is jubilating in the palace over the news of Mommy Tedeneka will telling them the dream that she had yesterday where Dr. Lizzie had twins baby boys. My correct, correct people now waiting with the hair where they suffer for palace as alleged. I beg go, my wonderful people, make a trick man for this matter. Drop your comments, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, stay tuned, stay connected for more updates will be dropping from time to time about waiting the stuff.